Hi there, I'm Tim, Head of Training at Pencil, coming to you today with a really exciting feature focus about our brand new Chat to Ads feature. So I'm going to show you how to create great quality ad creatives in seconds, and we're going to do it in a couple of different ways. So we're going to launch into the system, and you can see that on our new updated landing page, we have a chat entry box straight away. We can also access this tool from generic creatives, from AI magic tools, and from our templates by hovering over and selecting use template. We're going to start without a template, and the second version I do, I'm going to show you how to use a template. I'm going to give a really simple prompt, and it's just generate a static ad for my dummy brand. And immediately the chat will come back and tell me what else it needs in terms of information. So I'm going to give it some insights, target audience info, product details, keywords. This is all about new runners in the UK using the brand of trainers that I'm working on. It's come straight back with a concept. I can either iterate on this, you'll see that there's a repeat button next to the concept, or I can give specific feedback to regenerate the concept. I wanted a UK market, but it's given me UK in the copy, which feels a bit on the nose. So I'm going back to say, don't reference the country in the copy. And then it's redone that concept for me and absolutely nailed it. So I'm going to tell it I love it. And it's going to then use, oh, no, it's going to ask me for my channel because I haven't provided that. I probably should have said generates an Instagram ad. And now it's going to come and ask me for my assets. So we can provide assets or not. It can generate straight from this chat system. In this example, I'm going to provide assets. In the next example for the template, I'm going to show you how it can function from generating new assets straight into a creative. I've got some product images, I've got some images of runners to suit to my running theme, and it's going to process these and give me a storyboard. So I'll get the copy, which is there straight away, first steps to fitness success, which is a pretty good headline, and some images. And I can see that it has generated me an image as well. Um, I can then view that on my canvas, and I've got a pretty solid ad. However, most brands are going to have some really stringent requirements for their look and feel. I do for my dummy brand as well. So what I'm going to do next is show you how to use a template to absolutely nail your style on your ad and then how to edit the output. So I've gone to my template, I've hovered over the top corner, I've pressed use template and I get the same options here. And I'm going to put the same information in. So I've just copy and pasted the same commands I did before. Again, I get my concept. I really like my concept straight away this time. So I'm not going to go into a back and forth with it. And again, I'm going to have the option to add assets. I do want to add the product assets. And it's really important that if your um, template features a particular media type, you do include that, so product assets. If it includes video as well, you'll need to provide video assets. But I'm going to let it generate that background image for me. So I've got a headline, first steps. This time my template has a subheadline, so it's given me a subheadline as well, which I like. And then it generated me an image of some people running in a park. And I've got a pretty good ad straight away. However, if I want to make changes, we can use any of the editing features that you can also see in our static templates video. So copy, assets, elements, brand. We've also now got a model option here because our editor has had a major upgrade and we can now generate in line. So if I select a text box and press that generate text button, I can give a command to regenerate this copy and I've chosen GPT 4.0 as my model for this. So I'm saying generate a header, maximum 45 characters. It's quite a small text box. If I generate huge reams of text, that's going to probably run off the ad. And I'm going to give the real specifics of what I want from this. 
copy. So I really want it to reference comfort of performance. And I mean, I liked what it did before. So this is just an example of how it can do it. But if I had things I didn't like, I'd be replacing them here. It's going to give me a sample. I can regenerate if that if I want, but I like that. So I'm going to press replace. And it's given me a really good subheader. I can also regenerate my image. So I can't select it straight away because I've got an opacity uh, layer over the top, but I'm going to select the image behind from my layers panel, press generate image, and I'm going to give a prompt here as well. So I've got a real like orange theme to my brand, as you can see. I'm going to switch to Firefly for my model because I think it'll do a great job of what I'm after. And I want a photo of someone running, but that fits that kind of orange theme. So I'm going to do a woman running along a beach and I'm going to make it an evening image. So beach at dusk, golden hour, orange tones, really hammer that home, get my brand right. And just do all of the good things that we've covered in the prompting 101 video that you can find on our How It Works page. When I press generate, it's going to give me three options and I can then just immediately sub one of those in for the original provided image. They all look pretty good, but I like the balance of the one on the right. And there we go. I can now play around with that using any of our editing features as I want. I can regenerate things however I want before I then switch into tweaking the other formats. But overall, I am very happy with this ad. And in a matter of about two minutes, we've got an excellent creative. So best thing to do is to go in, have a play around, figure out what's going to work best for you and happy generating. Thank you so much. Check out our other videos. Thank you.